What's up guys, Jay here with the High Ground Realty Group. I'm here with my partner in crime, Jesse Rodriguez, AKA J-Rod. In today's video, we're gonna be headed to downtown Liberty Hill to show you guys what it's like living here. We're gonna show you some of our favorite spots. We're gonna show you some of the popular spots and some of the changes that are currently underway and some of the changes that have already happened. So if you guys wanna know more, stay tuned. So before we get out and start showing you some of these places, I'm gonna put a map up on the screen right now and kind of give you guys an overview of where these things are located. So you'll have an idea when it comes to Liberty Hill, how it's laid out and where these things are in relation to the rest of the city. So before I dive into the area we're looking at in Liberty Hill today, just so you guys have a frame of reference, Austin is located right here where I'm circling on the map right now. North Austin is up in this area. And to get to North Austin from Liberty Hill, you're looking at about 30, 35 minutes or so, depending on the traffic, of course, that's always a factor in this area, anywhere around Austin, as a matter of fact. But Liberty Hill is located up here. So in today's video, we're in downtown Liberty Hill, which is all this area right here where I'm circling. And it includes this road here, which is County Road 279 on this side and Loop 332 on this side. So Loop 332 runs through Liberty Hill and it runs right through downtown and it takes you up here to where this is highway 29 and that's the main thoroughfare to get east and west and all around this area it goes and this this is the road that stretches really far but just so you guys know that this whole area that's highlighted here that's where these places are located that we're showing you in today's video so if you guys are moving to the area definitely worth coming down here and checking this out So the first spot we're gonna stop and show you is Wetzel Park. Wetzel Park is a new splash pad in town and when it's hot in the summertime, it's a great place to come out to. come out here man and have a good old time with the kids with the little kids you know if you're an older you know you man you want to just stick your feet in there and get them wet but you know right now of course the summertime is kind of coming to an end here in central texas however it's still hot enough outside to uh, to go out and enjoy a splash pad like this one one thing to note about this area right next to wetzel park is they are building a roundabout to ease the traffic coming from leander into liberty hill so if you guys are moving back and forth between the two cities it's going to be a lot smoother when it's all said and done but right now with all the construction it could be a little bit of a Heller High Water. One of the things about Heller High Water is if you come when it's crowded it's almost impossible to find a parking space. Very limited parking but one of my favorite spots. In fact, my wife and I like to come down here on the weekends, have a beer, and if you guys watched our previous tour, you're gonna hear me repeating this because we like it that much. J-Rod, what do you think of Hell or High Water? Man, <clears throat> I really like it. It's kinda, you know, it's a homegrown, mom and pop type place where, you know, you move here to Liberty Hill, Texas, you still have that small town feel, small town eatery, enjoy a good cold beer and a good hamburger good to go and on the weekends a lot of times what you'll find is live music so if you guys are coming into town and you're looking for some entertainment good place for, even just for a hangout or a date or whatever it is family no problem they've got a little outdoor area where you can sit and that's usually where they have the music going and they also have an inside too for when those hot 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 summer nights are there you can be inside where it's nice and cool so great place to go great place to hang out let's move on to the next one
With all the growth happening here in Liberty Hill and as fast as it's happening, it's nice that there's a, several different spots you can come hang out at, go with the family, meet up with your friends, and you'll see a lot of that. In the weekends, these places that we're talking about get extremely crowded, so definitely hot spots for the town. And if you guys are coming out to the area and you maybe you're not sure if you want to live here yet and you just want to check it out, drop us a comment below or reach out to us and we'll send you our Liberty Hill guide. You guys can come in, you can take a look. We list some parks and some restaurants and some of those things that you can come do. Things to do with your kids if you're coming with kids that are close by. But yeah, let us know. We're happy to provide it. It's free. No, no strings attached. Just reach out to us, call us, text us, email us, whatever it is, and then we'll get that over to you. Those of you that like the boutique shopping, Liberty Hill in this downtown area has a ton of those. So a lot of these older homes have been renovated and turned into boutique shops. So if you're into that kind of thing, plenty of that around here. In fact, every year they do like a little boutique hopper type thing. I don't know what to call it, guys. I was thinking bar hopping, but <laughs> it's like a boutique something. But they go to all the different boutiques and they have like they make kind of a little event out of it. So if you guys are into that, they got you covered. The next stop we're gonna make is at Agape Barbecue. Now, if you guys are in the mood for barbecue and you're local in Liberty Hill, this is the place to go. Uh, they have a Smoky Moe's up the road on 183, but Agape, in my opinion, tastes a lot better. Uh, my personal favorite, the pulled pork sandwich. You can't go wrong with the pulled pork sandwich. If you guys are here, give it a try. Drop a comment below, let me know what you think of it. Since we were here at Agape, we had to go inside and try it because J-Rod had never eaten it. This is a little bonus material for you guys, but uh, let's check in with J-Rod, see what he ate, and see what he thought of it. We don't normally do this with our videos, but it seemed appropriate at this time. The, yeah, never been here. So I had the brisket sandwich, uh, sliced brisket sandwich, and a side of hatch chili mac and cheese. And man, oh man. If you get a chance, you need to come out here, take a look at Agape Barbecue and see what they've got to offer because they've got a lot. So the next stop we're gonna make is Main Street Social. Again, another great place to come down with the family. They are doing some upgrades. They're gonna add a pickleball court, which Pretty fun and pretty popular for the area. They're planning on hosting some tournaments and sounds like a lot of fun for everyone, but let's get J-Rod's opinion of Main Street Social because this is one place that he's been to a couple times and let's see what he has to say. Man, I really like this place. It's really cool because it's got like five or six different uh, food vendors, ice cream, pizza, burgers, uh, shrimp tacos you name it they've got it here so that's kind of makes it cool you don't have one specific place that you've got to go to to eat their food they've got several different places to choose from and the really cool thing about it it's got a bar for everybody uh right in the middle of the building you've got all your food your restaurants all on the sides where you get your food from and then in the middle is the bar and they've got your beer you've got wine uh anything to fit your fancy they've got it so really neat place bring the family bring the kids They've got the playscape like Jay was talking about. They've got pickleball that's going to be coming up. So really cool place. A lot of fun. An A+. Plus. Another thing about downtown is there's several events held down in this area every year. Uh, in the summertime, you got the Whimsy Wonder Festival. In the wintertime, they have a winter festival, and they bring out vendors, and they close off the main streets, and there's all kinds of stuff for families and kids. They bring in fake snow if there's not real snow, and they let kids do the ice skating. They do all that kind of stuff. So it's a lot of fun down here in the summer and in the winter for people here with families, and if even if you just like to get out and do something different. Next up on the list is the Liberty Hill City Park. This is the biggest park in Liberty Hill right now, and for now, and uh, it's actually gonna have some upgrades. Right now you've got soccer courts, soccer courts, 
a so <laughs> soccer fields, basketball court, playscape, and a little football field at the end of it. And the newest addition that is now actually fully running and open is the swimming pool. Now keep in mind, it's not a big, huge pool. It's probably, probably smaller than what you're gonna find in most HOAs and master plan communities, but it's a pool and you can come down if you're a resident and go swimming. If you don't have that pool or you don't have access to the pool, this gives you an option. But let's hear about the upgrades that are coming over the next couple years. They just got approved this past July, so many people are looking forward to them. J-Rod's gonna tell you all about them. And so the upgrades that Jay was just talking about that's coming is one you can see out here, it's got a caliche gravel kind of open area here. Uh, that's gonna be paved. So that's that's gonna be a huge, huge plus for everybody coming to visit. Another really cool thing, pickleball courts. So they're gonna have that really, really growing sport. People are really getting into it. Uh, if you hear about the pickleball, well, that's what they're gonna have out here. And then the next thing too is a skate park really cool for the kids uh, even teenagers and even some adults that like to uh, skateboard and do tricks and all that kind of stuff so they're going to have that out here and then the biggest thing that they're going to put out is a 500 person amphitheater really cool for your outdoor concerts anything like that so uh really growing really expanding out here they've got a lot of plans a couple other restaurants for those of you coming in if you're into the Mexican food, Jardin Corona, I can't recommend it enough. My wife and I love that place. In fact, we visit there weekly enough to where they know who we are by now. Um, when we come in the door, they know us. They know what we're ordering most of the time, and it's one of those kind of things. Uh, another thing to note, if you're into the fast food stuff, there's a ton of options on 29. There used to be only like one. There was like a Sonic and a Domino's, and now there's... I mean, you got Majors Burgers, which isn't new. That's been there a long time, more local. If you guys like to support the local Majors Burgers, try the beer batter fries. Um, and, and we try not to make this channel about food, but if you guys are coming into town and looking for things and want to know where they're at, everything's going to be located along Highway 29 for the most part. And as it expands out, Ronald Reagan and some of that area by Santa Rita Ranch will have a lot more over there. But for now, most of the stuff you're going to find is on Highway 29. There's several schools located. The high school is there. The middle school is there. 29 is going to be your main thoroughfare through and it stretches east and west really far. I mean, you can go all the way out into the hill country if you go west. You can go all the way into Georgetown going east and beyond. It just it's that's just where everything's at for now, guys. So just know there is going to be continued growth in this area. There's a lot more coming. I feel like every other week we're hearing about something new that's coming into town. So we will keep these kind of videos updated for you guys. But uh for now, yeah. Let's go. Uh, your spirits that you like? Anything that you want? No? Okay, let's try that again. Damn it. Cut. Alright, it's only beer and wine. Is it? Okay, I thought it was spirits too. Then you're not spirits? I thought. Liberty Hill. These are some of our favorite spots to hang out at. This is where we go. This is where my wife and I go with our family. J Rod meets us out here sometimes with his family, and we all hang out and have a good time. Uh, if you guys are moving to the area, we've got plenty of videos on our channel about Liberty Hill and different neighborhoods and stuff like that. So make sure you check those out. And if you guys are looking to come to the area in the near future or even down the road, give us a call, text, email, nights, days, weekends, doesn't matter. We'd love to hear from you guys and help you with any and all of your real estate needs. Please subscribe to the channel. Tap the little notification bell so you'll be notified when we release future videos. Smash the thumbs up button for me. Remember, we got your back when you move into Austin, Texas. Till the next time. Catch you later.